Hello, this is V. You're watching Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Today I'm sharing with you a 12 days of Christmas Advent calendar. Unfortunately, I was unable to share this prior to Christmas. However, I thought that this could be used as inspiration for Christmas in July. So I did want to share as well as I am featuring a die from ScrapDivaDesigns.com. Uh, I am featuring the Slimline House add-on roof set. This is the die here. You can find that at ScrapDivaDesigns.com. I will have all of the links below for that so you could take a look at that and see if you would love to purchase it. It goes along with another die. This is the Slim line house and so it goes with this so that one is just the add-on it's a roof set and so uh, i am including this in my project and this is my design team project share for that i was very hesitant to share it but i i really need to share this with you guys considering it is a design team project so i made this for my son and i made it as masculine as i could and I, uh, he, it's been dug into, so it's originally a ring uh, box, so it's originally a 12-day advent calendar box for rings, and I, I love gifting advent calendars, and I love receiving. It's one of my favorite things to make for Christmas, so I had all of these rings. There's other rings that... Uh, that came with the package. I ordered rings from Amazon. So he is a teenager. He's into the guitar. And so these are like punk rings. And so it's just a set that I picked up from Amazon again. And we will dig into everything. So as you can see in the front, I am using the Vicky Booten Peppermint Kisses collection for Christmas. And I included uh, some... I call this here, I know the journaling community calls it Franken Pages, but since I am not part of that community, I am the paper crafting community, I'm calling this here quilting. So it's paper quilting to me. I pieced together two papers and I quilted it together, as you can see with the zigzag. So I did that for all the way down here. You can barely see uh, it peeking through there. So this is the spine and I want to go over the tassel as well. I've been loving felt lately and I wanted to make some felt tassels. As you uh, saw in my last video with the e.l.f. mini album, I also made some miniature felt tassels. Uh, I will share a tutorial on how to make that. I do make it slightly different from like the snow and cocoa tassels that came out in that paper collection. Uh, I tried to replicate those. However, the the uh, felt kept tearing um, on the upper part. I guess my felt was just too thin. I'm not sure, but I found a different way to make tassels as well. So I want to share that with you very soon. Hopefully we can do it for Valentine. So this is the spine here. I also add a little notch here to hold my tassel. So uh, the base of it is uh, the sandpaper. That's the craft paper. I included as well some sequins there and also some flatbacks. This flatback fell off. So I will have to add that later. I believe it fell in here. I'll check that out. I always include the name of the collection back here. So again, Vicki Booten, in case you don't know who that the designer is, you can research it. So here again, I have some Franken paper here, <laughs> more like quilting, and I added the um, stitching there. I also added some sequins. I added this pom-pom trim from Hobby Lobby. I added, and then I paired that with this satin ribbon that's from Amazon. Uh, the sticker here is also for by the Vicky Booten collection. Here are the gingerbreads, and that comes with Scrap Diva Designs. I did some felt trees instead of paper, and I also did some heart embroidery, which I shared a how-to in the prior video with the Elf mini album. You can see a how-to do these hearts. 
So I just love it. I have a, what is this? A cardinal. I have a cardinal here. And I just love how it turned out. So the roofing here also has some embroidery here. And also has double layering as well. So that is the design team die that I'm sharing in this project. So let's go ahead and dig in. So originally I wanted this, this advent calendar to be thinner, <laughs> but I misjudged the boxes and you'll see in a minute how I did that. So let's go ahead and open it. So here is the inside on the left here. The boxes came out as I wanted. So these are match boxes. And I also included, if you can see here, I did some circles there and I stitched them and I added some glittered numbers. These numbers are Scrap Diva Designs as well. I added the Magic Moment there, stitched. And I also did some quilting here for the papers. Uh, I have the red and then I also have this pattern paper that has some pine sprigs on it so this is the side that i misjudged i wanted these boxes to be so much smaller than this and it just came out so big however i am glad i was able to make that a little bit bigger because some of these rings are huge and i will share with you like this one here it is massive so that one's so big and some of them had to have two rings instead of one so yeah they open like this and again, if he can't use it, if he couldn't open it on this side, it would open this way. And so that's what he did. Opened it on this side. And then I had some tissue paper, blue tissue paper in the inside. And all I did was I had the rings wrapped like so, like this. And then I opened the box. See, it's already been dug into, as you can see already. He's been pulling on the boxes and he already opened them all. So he knows exactly what he got. There's more tissue paper in here. See, it's been used, you guys. So all I did is just add the rings in there and then closed it up and gifted it to him. I always give him advent calendars. Sometimes it's chocolates. In this case, it was rings. I think next year I'm going to do like a mismatch maybe care products like deodorant or like like travel size products i think i just love advent calendars you guys and so this was mine for this year and last year i gave someone an advent calendar it was charms so i just love them i love making them it was charms i gave uh yeah i gave becky long one i also gave crafting with fury one and I gave um, the pink ape Marissa one. So you guys might want to check those out. If you go into my playlist, you'll see advent calendars in the play playlist. And you can see all the different advent calendars that I've made before in the past. This one was one of the first ones that I've made a 12 days of Christmas for this year. And um, unfortunately, I couldn't share it. I couldn't share it you guys I really wanted to share it before hand and it didn't happen however you guys can uh, get some inspiration for this coming July if you want to go that route but this is it you guys I hope you enjoyed this and it brings some inspiration to you even though Christmas has already gone by and you could probably um, get some inspiration especially from this tassel I just love how this tassel turned out I completely forgot to mention that the boxes are a cut file from the silhouette design store so both both of them are they're different styles I will have them linked below for you guys if you'd like to try that out you can also make these smaller uh, I originally again wanted to make these a lot smaller and thinner I didn't mean for the spine to come out so large like this uh, however it did in the end and it just worked out for for me considering the type of rings that I had in here so um yeah so I will have that link below again from Amazon and I will see you guys in the next video bye
share this before Christmas hit, but it just didn't happen. So I'm featuring this die here. It's by Scrap Diva Designs. This one is called, what is called? What it is called? I cannot remember. I can't remember. December. 